everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with me on my channel for another video. Today's video is actually and ironically a video that I never thought I would ever be making and it is a complete disaster video. Normally I have habits and routines in place which means my housework is generally kept pretty much under control. But this week it has been hectic, I have been all systems go, working on some projects to wrap things up at my work and I just have let my whole house slide and boy today did it show. There was literally not one room and practically not even a single surface that did not require attention of some kind to get it cleaned and get it back in shape. So starting off first things first, I made sure I had a coffee to get me caffeinated, get me motivated and ready to get cleaning. Starting as always in the kitchen, I always like to do the worst first. This was the room that was in the absolute worst state, so I decided to tackle that first. And just starting off with the basics, which for me is to clear out any rubbish and recycling and get that sorted, then to stack obviously all the dirty dishes into the dishwasher and then get that going. And then once the surfaces and sink are clean and clear, then you can start actually getting things cleaned. Now I wasn't in the mood to do a really deep detailed clean today. It was definitely more of a case of getting it done to a state that is good enough. It was definitely one of my mantras which is done is better than perfect and I am totally fine with that when it comes to housework. I don't think that you need to clean to like the immaculate standard every time you clean your house and sometimes it's just a quick clean is all it needs. Detail cleaning in whatever areas might be needing more attention but just quickly wiping over, tidying up and getting things back on track. So going in with my method degreaser, my method heavy duty degreaser, I always forget the names of these products, which I will always have linked down below in the description box. Method is by far my number one all round favorite cleaning brand. And I get my method from Big W in Australia. I get it when it is on sale. You can also order it in Australia from method.com.au and they often have really good deals and specials on. So it's definitely worthwhile checking there and keeping an eye out. They also have a much bigger range than you can get in Big W. The other cleaning products that I use on my channel that I always get asked about, especially where I get them in Australia, is my Mrs. Myers cleaning products. And I usually link these whenever I'm using them. And I have bought these only once before and I did a bulk order from luckyvitamin.com. So it is from the States and I did a big enough order to kind of warrant the expense of the shipping. Pretty much anytime you buy anything from the States or outside of Australia, basically, the shipping is just a killer. So you have to make sure that you buy enough stuff to make the shipping kind of spread out over the amount of things. So often I will go in with friends, families, or even coworkers before to make a really big order and then just split the shipping between us. I do this with Lucky Vitamin, I do it with iHerb, and I do it with pretty much anything that I get from the States especially. Now I very rarely wash dishes by hand. If I can't put it in the dishwasher, it basically does not belong in my house. But the dishwasher was full, it was running, and I wanted to get everything washed up, dried up, put away so that there was no leftover and the kitchen was 100% clean by the end of my cleaning day. So I'm just washing up the last few things by hand and then giving the sink a good scrub down with my Mrs. Myers cleaning powder. Still trying to use that bad boy up because it's I've, I've mentioned it before, it's not my favorite product. It just is too messy for my liking and it just kind of, that powder goes up everywhere. You can't help but breathe it in when you're using it, which cannot be good for you. But I am determined to use it all up and I do like the finish that it gives. Like it does clean really well. It's just that the formula is not my favorite. And I didn't realize here that I had a big soap sud in my hair from cleaning the sink. 
Now moving on to cleaning the fridge and I'm using my Method Steel For Real as I always do whenever I'm cleaning stainless steel products. I'm actually always amazed when I watch back my filmed clips for editing how quickly you can actually clean a whole room like for example the kitchen now I pretty much filmed the entire cleaning process for this whole kitchen and it was in a bit of a state and I think there was only around 12 minutes so I know that sometimes you put yourself off thinking oh it's gonna take so long I can't be bothered but once you get in and get started it really doesn't take that long at all I think today to clean my whole house I ended up with just over an hour of footage so one area that was in particularly dire need of cleaning was the floor and I had a lot of dust built up in my dining room area so I wanted to pull up all of those stools just to make sure I had super super easy access to give the floor a really good vacuum and a mop. It's now spring in Australia but in Brisbane it gets pretty hot pretty quickly so we are back into using the aircon not on a daily basis but just when it's really hot in the afternoons. I get the afternoon setting sun kind of beating into our apartment so it can get really hot but I find that whenever I run the air conditioning no matter how much I clean the filters there is always a lot more dust. And with my oldest son being allergic to dust and dust mites and about a thousand other things, I always like to keep on top of it as much as possible just to keep that dust under control. I actually can't even believe that we are already in November this year. October literally seemed to go by in the blink of an eye. I know heaps happened in October. I mentioned before that I resigned from my job. It was my birthday. We had Halloween. We had actually three birthdays in our team at work. So we had celebrations pretty much all throughout October. It's been really hectic. I'm really looking forward to things settling down in November and things getting back on track and returning to normal. I really miss having a structured cleaning schedule and I know it makes me stressed out when my house is a mess and when I'm just not on top of things in the cleaning department. I can't believe how much a difference it makes when your house is clean as to when it is in a state of mess for a couple of days in a row. Like I was getting stressed out. I also noticed that when my house is messy, I'm more likely to be less patient and be snappy like with other people, even with my kids. And surprisingly, actually, their room was probably the cleanest room in the house over all these past few days, which I'm very proud of. Now, interestingly enough, why I said at the start of this video that it was ironic that this video was a complete disaster video that I was filming is because at the moment, while I'm editing this video, my highest viewed YouTube video, which is 10 habits for a clean and tidy home, hence the irony, is just about to hit 1 million views. And I mean, that is mind boggling to me. I cannot believe that a million people, well, very, very close to a million people at the moment, have watched me cleaning my house. It is just out of this world crazy to even wrap my head around it. So I am very thankful, very grateful, and I appreciate every single person who has ever watched my 10 habits of a clean and tidy home. I think that's what I called it. I'll link it here and I'll link it below. If you haven't already seen it, go and check it out. Who knows, maybe by the time this video is posted, it will already be at 1 million views and that would be totally cool. And now we are on to probably one of my least favorite household chores, which is doing the laundry. I don't actually mind folding clothes, but it is just, uh, I don't know how long it takes and putting the things away. It's not just the fact that you've got to fold them, but you've got to fold them, you've got to either iron them, then you've got to take them and put them away. It's just that whole process that I never seem to get finished through to 100% completed. Normally I'm guilty of folding up the clothes and leaving them in piles throughout the house or leaving them piled up in a basket ready to be put away, but it's just getting it through to that final stage of getting it away and getting it like done done that always trips me up. Oh, and I just noticed the t-shirt that I'm wearing. It is the Philadelphia 76ers. I saw this in the kids department in Target, in Target Australia, and I was like, oh, 76, that's the year I was born, 1976. So I was like, I have to buy one of those. So my kids 
got Chicago Bulls t-shirts. I got a Philadelphia 76ers. So anyone who is from Philadelphia or who is a fan of the Philadelphia 76ers, not that I really follow that much sport, comment below and let me know what's your favorite NBA is it NBA what's your favorite basketball team that you follow all right so back to the cleaning and after cleaning the main bathroom in the house and switching a load of laundry out I am now just giving my entryway a quick dust down and an organize before moving on to cleaning my ensuite and again today was not about cleaning to an immaculate standard it was just about getting in and getting it cleaned to a good enough standard where it wasn't looking like a total pigsty or a complete disaster and in the bathroom today i'm using the mrs myers lemon verbena tub and tile cleaner and i really like this product i wish they were really easily and readily available in australia and they weren't required to be ordered from overseas it would be great if there were a local distributor for these products because they are absolutely awesome. We don't have anything like Grove Collaborative or anything like that here. But I tell you what, if there were, it would go gangbusters. Absolutely, by far the most frequently asked question is where do I get Method and where do I get Mrs. Meyer's products in Australia? I have these disposable Valida anti back floor wipes that I am determined to use up because I've had them for quite a while now. So instead of using my regular reusable floor mop that comes with the Valida spray mop, I'm just using these for today just to get them used up. Now that I have a nice clean and tidy home once again, I am off to enjoy it for the 10 minutes it lasts until it gets destroyed again. I'm sure if you have kids, you know that when your house is clean, it literally lasts only for a few minutes. And before you know it, the kitchen's full of dishes. There's another load of laundry to be done. The bathroom's looking a hot mess again. So enjoy it while it lasts. So that about wraps it up for this video as always if you've enjoyed it be sure to give it a thumbs up it is great feedback for me it lets me know that you enjoy these types of videos and for me to keep on creating this type of content if you haven't already be sure to subscribe before you leave or better yet hang out and watch another video thank you so much for all the support for my channel for all the likes for all the comments and all the subscriptions i hope you are having a fabulous weekend and as always i will see you in the next video Bye everyone. Oh, head underwater, I'm falling back into you. I thought we'd be smarter. I got nothing left to lose. You said you fall with me. No matter how far it goes, not even under.